Six kickoffs for a 380 total yards as it's away. Yeah, and the return man right here. Outstanding job is Scott. And Marshall covers it well. Second down here for the Colonels. And they'll flip it to the wide receiver. And that is going to be a first down. Jalen Carter, the sophomore out of Louisville, won. And EKU played here and then came back in 92. Allen in trouble. And down he goes. And Channing Haynes is going to make the stop there for the Thundering Herd. Three, third down, 15 from the 24. Allen. Launches, got a man, but overshoots the intended receiver. He's up third and seven. Allen in trouble. Allen will go down. Haynes was there. Couch was there. A host of others. Series. When they have third and medium, third and long, you can always expect it. Adam Fuller, acts allowed all of last season. That was the fourth best mark in the NCAA. They returned 3,982 snaps. And on this play, they block for Keon Davis, and we got flags down. You could really tell from the moment he ran the first one back, it was going to be a different season. All right, Green going up top, and a sensational grab made once again by Tyree Brady. I don't even think there's adjectives to use to describe that guy. One of the best in the nation. I mean, look at that. Put him down, 29-yard gainer there. And here's Green looking. And now Green going to take off with it. And Green will run out of bounds. Got a very cool presence. 34% a season ago. And here's the handoff, and it's going to be Davis bolting his way to the 33-yard line, it looks, and that will be a thundering Herd first down. Catching touchdown passes, and so I think Herd fans are kind of excited to see that. Flick it out this way to Brady, and Brady shows that great strength that he has muscling his way. And look at those receivers, Jake, stacked <laughs> at the top of your screen. And out it comes to Keon Davis, and good job there by Eastern Kentucky on the read. And may have a jump again, and here is Green again going up top. Catch is made. Obiallo with the touchdown grab. Obi Obiallo really came on strong last year down the stretch of the season. Suffered that wrist injury in camp the beginning of last year to put him out for four games. But he gives Marshall another look out wide with Marcel Williams, with Tyree Brady. The extra point that they have the lead following this TD pass here, Jake. A beautiful throw right on the money. Back shoulder fade to Obiallo. Falls it in. And the herd in the lead here in Huntington. Dakota Allen from the gun. And pass. Across the middle, and actually picked off, and Austin Scott had come in as the QB, and the ball is tipped, and Brandon Drayton with the interception for Marshall. Getting in on the action here so far today. Redshirt sophomore. And now the handoff goes to Tyler King. Second and seven from the 23-yard line. Flip it around. And it's going to be Willie Johnson. Johnson speed to burn, and Johnson takes it inside the five-yard line and a thundering herd first down. Touchdown saving tackle, but let me tell you what. When Willie Johnson gets into the open space, he has deceptive speed, really turns on the Jets there. And another great story for Marshall for this season. And now Marshall's going to load the box there. Green's going to keep it, and Green will be taken down. How many times already we called Bascom's number here in this first quarter? Griffith, our great crew, and Mark Martin. Isaiah Green looking, fires, and he's got Brady, and Brady lunges out. And gets in. Who else? Tyree Brady, again, coming up big for Marshall. The extension was great. But how about that move in a spin cycle here almost? 
Might not be able to see it there, but comes back to the ball a little bit. Well-placed ball. So Scott fakes the handoff. Going up top. Got a man down there. It's going to be picked off. Interception made by the Thundering Herds. Jalen McLean sack. Up on that fake handoff. Looked his receiver down the entire way. Unable to look off the safety. Jackson in coverage. Sapp reads it. It's also an underthrown ball. And Jalen McLean Sapp, that'll be an INT every day of the week. Begin this second quarter of play. Isaiah Green. I don't think EKU got a piece of that one, but uh, Green pretty Isaiah impressive Green in that first quarter, Jay Griffith. Yeah, that's just Green's third incomplete pass of the day. EKU's fared well against. So Doc Holliday knows that this is no easy bye week game. Yeah, Coach Elder wants to get this program back to that level where they are dangerous and coming into others' places. Creamer goes in motion. Allen floats it up and nearly picked off there by McLean Sapp, but we do have penalty flags down. I hear people ask all the time nowadays, how are you supposed to defend a guy if you're a cornerback or a safety? Here's the handoff and into the end zone and tumbling in is L.J. Scott and Eastern Kentucky is on the board. Well, they failed to capitalize the first time they got the football on that fumble situation on a punt. Yeah, the redshirt sophomore from Frostproof, Florida. They converted him from quarterback, was a highly touted QB coming in. Back in once again in this game. Good passer and throws it out, and the catch is made, but an immediate stop. They're even in this one right now. Pretty wide outgame. to the bottom of the screen, and here is Green and Gaines now with his second catch of the game. He left his imprint on the game, but offensively, scheme-wise, looking a little bit like that. In third and one, King will have the first down as he slips inside the 25. Being able to have a diverse offense that has many looks and it's not one-dimensional, First down play, Brady had it in his hands, dropped it, and coming up with the football is Moore, and now the referees are going to talk about it. He's got the burst. I'd love to get him free here, and back to pass, and that one was flicked, and it's going to be picked up by Marshall. Hernandez, 25, inside the 15, and Frankie Hernandez will take it to the four-yard line. Williams in motion for the herd. Now comes back, and the handoff goes to King, straight up the middle, into the end zone. Well, he saw Tyler King a couple series ago, slap the ground out of frustration. He couldn't break one and get free. Gets free there, finds the hole, scampers untouched into the end zone, and that's what Marshall needed. And this makes life easier for Angelo Mirando. Third and short here. And Dakota Allen will surge forward. Just keep it. Zion play and gets the first down. And Chase Hancock makes the stop. And he's got a great coach, too. Byron Thweet. Marshall got him from James Madison. Allen in trouble. And they just about got away. But a good job there defensively by Ty Tyler. Just a junior. Plenty of time left in his career. It was a seven-yard loss, and now into the open field is McCleskey. A quick slant, dangerous pass, but it works out nicely for the Colonels as Jackson Bierman, a freshman, redshirt freshman, that makes his first catch. Dangerous pass, and now don't look now, at least EKU. Going to go with a little up-tempo. Here's Bierman again. Bierman makes the... Grab at the 40. Allen gets the snap. Allen will keep, and Allen is going to fight hard here, see if he is going to get the first down. Jaquan Uli, Mike Linebacker, making the stop for the herd. Well, looked like the ball was there, but there was no attempt to kick it. There to start the game. 
And going to sky this one. And again, it hits off of a return man. That was Tyler King. And yet again, Fonzo Howard awaits the snap, gets it into the hands of Scott, looking to turn the corner, cuts it up, and he's inside the 10 and has the first down for the Colonels before Nazi Johnson brings him down. Scott breaks free. Howard will keep it and searches for yardage and gets it down to the seven yard line. Gant will make the stop for Marshall. If you're an away team player, there's nothing better than going on the road and silencing the home fans, and EKU's done that successfully so far. Yeah. Hayworth skied it again, but here's Anthony Anderson. Well, they covered it pretty well, and then Anderson does a nice job of getting away, and it takes it out. The guys are going to try to utilize at that position. Here is Green, guns it out, and the catch is made. Nice little... Quick slant pattern there to Artie Henry. Getting richer this offseason as Marshall added Henry to their already stacked receiving core. And then Davis goes backwards. Not something you see too often for Keon Davis. Got to be kicking himself there. Have to haul that in. And again, hard count. They're going to get a free play here. Going to fire it up. And Odiallo makes the grab. Touchdown, Marshall. I think Obi Obiallo likes being thrown the ball after flags get thrown. That's the second touchdown on a free play to Obiallo. And a strong way to respond for the Thundering Herd following that EKU score. This play adds a different wrinkle to this Eastern Kentucky attack. And here he is again in open field, and he's across midfield and will finally be brought down. <laughs> and the ball comes loose, and Marshall has it. Artis Johnson has the loose ball and leading it here by 14. Levi Brown snaps it to Green. Green dancing around and now Green will be decked there. Solid hit by EKU. Trips to the bottom of the screen. And Davis will come up and get a block and overshoots. Stadium comes to life here. Howard going to take it and Howard spinning around and Howard a tough guy to bring down mm -hmm. this season on this guy sort of taking this defense off guard by what he can bring all right and this time he's going to keep it again and showing good footwork there dances his way across midfield into thundering her territory first down yardage first and 10 from the 45. And the handoff here, I believe that's Booth, who has one of the two touchdowns. We got a flag coming out here. Howard gets the snap, the handoff. No, it keeps it. Howard trying to turn the corner, and it's read beautifully out there by Jalon McLean Sapp. That one at the end of the half, and he never got the kick away. High snap. And a good job by the holder getting it down and no good. Move on to the next play. Five yard gain on that one. And now Johnson gets the handoff on the end around. Speed to burn with this guy and good tackle there on the far side of the field as Johnson gets the first down. A little something off of it and could have potentially been picked just out of the reach of the defender. All right. Heaving it up and trying to get it in the direction of Brady, and the ball will fall incomplete. Howard will keep. And Howard. Yeah, looks like he may. Marshall up by two TDs, but it has been a dogfight. And McCleskey. Oh, great. Took extension. the fake. And Howard finds the opening on the left side, and Howard keeps fighting. And I mean, he's a tough guy to bring down. I mean, he is strong, and Drayton and Jackson put him to the turf. And it's hard to bring a guy down like that. 
Howard this time will lose a yard. Of course, right as I say that, Malik Gant <laughs> comes right in and swings him to the ground. From the 49. Howard back in trouble. Down he goes. Well, that closed in a hurry. Channing Haynes, the New Mexico Bowl defensive MVP, makes the stop playing in a college football game. Snaps it to Green. And the youngster sets up, looks, and fires. And the catch is made by Obiallo. Not known as really a pass catching back as Keon Davis. Went out there on that wheel route. And well, there's Lick here. And really just a nice catch and run there. Levias. And showing a little bit about what he brings to the table, Jake, with that catch and run. Both touchdowns by EKU. Free play here for Green. And Green floating it up. And Green looking for Xavier Gaines. And wow, keeping those hands on that football, concentrating totally, and hauling it in for a big first down catch. Third and 15, high snap. And it will be the handoff to King again. All right, so it's going to be a 35 yard field goal attempt by Rohrwasser. And White puts it down, and the kick is up. And Rohrwasser has his first field goal. In of 20 on field goals for University of Rhode Island, 39 of 40 on point after touchdowns. He kicks this one right to the goal line and who else but Scott and one big game takes the paycheck They want the home and home series which they got with North Carolina State and They don't go lay down when they play these teams I mean West or excuse me Marshall is gonna walk in to an SEC stadium with national champion contenders That's highly impressive All right, here is Dakota Allen on the run Allen Searching and will be bumped out of bounds. The latest chapter in the moonshine throwdown. Again, a snap a bit off, but uh, good job there by the holder. They don't want to suffer the Purdue trap. All right, so now they have made a quarterback switch and back in the game as Ty Tyler takes him down. Dakota Allen is back in the game. Hand off to Keon Davis, and he's wrapped up by Aaron Patrick. Well, you were being held up by a lot of victories. Awaits the snap, third and 10 from the six yard line. In trouble, down he goes, and that's going to be a safety as Malik Thompson at Coach Beamer very briefly. Keon Davis hauls in the free kick and here uh -oh. comes Keon Davis. Uh -oh. well, there's no doubt that Keon Davis knows what to do on special teams when the ball is in his hands. Interception against Moorhead. According to EKU Sports Information staff, that's the first time that's ever yeah. happened, which I would say, yeah, you're probably right yeah. about that. Yeah, it's not every day that that. Going up against South Carolina, and EKU will go up against Bowling Green. A little match for the Colonels. Green and launching, and all going to go incomplete. 10 to 4 Williams. The biggest question coming in this year was how is Marshall going to get all their playmakers' touches? And so far tonight, Isaiah Green has done a good job distributing the ball. And Davis gets the call again. Another first down for the Thundering Herd. The touchdown make it 13-6. It was 20-6 at the break. And here is Green out to Keon Davis. And Davis going to be slowed down there by Moore once again. But Marshall never trailed in this game. But EKU definitely came in here with a lot of grit and determination. EKU is going to give him a fight. Marshall, as they head on the road next week to South Carolina, a few things they got to get buttoned up. They hope to knock off the Gamecocks. Jake's been a pleasure being with you, my friend. Great job. And thanks you as well, Mark. It's been a real pleasure getting to call some 
one of the best things in America, college football. No doubt, Doc Holliday, Mark Elder, they meet at midfield as Marshall moves its season record to 2-0 and now heading to SEC country to meet up with South Carolina.